In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can use the width tool in Illustrator to create these really simple abstract style logos by creating variable width strokes. So let me come over here into a new document and show you what I mean. I'm going to grab the ellipse tool over here and I'm going to click and drag on my canvas to create an ellipse. So I'm going to hold the shift key so that we have a perfectly round circle like that. And I'm just going to remove the white fill from there so that we just have a black stroke as this circle. And I'm going to grab my selection tool and I'm going to put this on the center of the page. So what I will do now is I will duplicate this. I'm just going to right click it and go to copy. And then once again, right click and go to paste and select paste in place. And I'm just going to take the top of this circle over here, this second copy, and bring this down. I'll bring this bottom up like that, and I'll take these sides and move them out like that so that we have sort of like a little ring around our circle here. And let me center that up on the page as well. And then I'm going to rotate this around a little bit. So let me take this and move this around like that. And that's looking good right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the original circle. And I'm going to grab the width tool, which is located over here in the toolbar. You can also access it by pressing shift W on the keyboard. So click on that. And before you do anything, come over here to your stroke panel and make sure for the stroke for the stroke, make sure you have it aligned in the center right here. If it's aligned with one of these two options, this is not going to work. So set the, and then come over here and you can zoom in. If you hover your cursor over the stroke, you can just click and drag like that and you could pull its width out as you can see there just like that. And once you do that, you'll have this handle right here that you can go back and adjust anytime you want, just like that. Okay, so as you can see there, I made this sort of like a variable width stroke. And I'm going to do the same thing over here to this circle. I'm going to grab my selection tool. I'm going to select this object right here. And I'll go back to my width tool. And I'll pull this area right here, just like that. Oh, well, actually, no, I have to change the aligned stroke. Mine is starting out with it aligned uh, to the inside like that. So I got to manually make that centered. And now I can do that. Okay, so I'm going to pull that out. And there you go. Now we have that same effect. So to finish up this design here, to make it look like what we have here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my selection tool and I'm going to go to object and I will select uh, expand appearance. And I'll do the same thing over here. I'll select that, go to object and select expand appearance. And now I'm going to select both of these objects and I'm going to zoom in on them. I'll grab my Shape Builder tool, which is located over here. You could press Shift M on the keyboard to access that. And then I'm just going to hold the Alt key and click on these areas to delete them. If you're using Mac, that would be Options. So I'm going to hold Option and click on those areas to delete them, just like that. Actually, no, I want to have that area. Let me put that back. I'm going to press Control Z. Okay, that was the area I wanted to delete right there. I'm going to add these other areas here. So I'm going to click and drag a line through these areas to add them. And then I'll add these areas over here as well so that this is one piece coming through here. And let me just zoom in over here, make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm going to add this area right here. OK, and now the final step to finish this design would be to make a duplicate copy of this object right here and subtract it from there so that we have that makeshift shadow effect there. So let me grab this object here. Uh, I'm going to hold Alt or Option if you're a Mac user and just click and drag this object right here. Actually, you know what? Let me undo that. Click off of everything to deselect it. Select just the ring right here and then hold Alt and click and drag. Move that up a little bit. Hold Shift, click on the circle up here to select it. Go back to the Shape Builder tool. And again, I'm going to hold Alt and click on that area right there to remove it. And now I can go back to my selection tool and get rid of this. And now we end up with that right there. So that's just one example of how you can use the Width tool to make these simple abstract style logos. Let's have a look at another way in which you can use the width tool in Illustrator. So I'm going to grab my pen tool over here, or rather I'm going to grab the curvature tool, and I'm just going to draw a simple curved line. I'm going to click to create a few points, just like that. And I'm going to press escape twice to close the path or finish the line like that. And then I'll come over here to the width tool. And again, come over here to your stroke panel, make sure the aligned is uh, set to center like that. And I could do the same thing with a single stroke like this. I can add a point right here and expand this. And now we have this brush stroke sort of look. And if I want to come over here, I can come over here to this end as well. And I can add another point just like that. And I could pull this one out even further. And now we have this right here, which kind of looks like a hair follicle. So I could take this side. I could pull that out. I can pull this in like that. 
I can pull this one out further. And you could add as many as these points, as many of these points as you'd like. You could pull this area in and then pull this area out like that. And you get the idea. So let me pull this one in like that. Pull that one out. And there you go. Now, if you want to change the style of this stroke, you can come over here to your stroke panel and where it says cap, you could change this to a rounded cap. And now you have an effect like this where we have these rounded uh, ends here. And if you come down here to where it says profile, it'll show you a preview of the style that's being applied to that path or that stroke. And if at any point you want to remove that effect, you can just use this drop down right here and set it back to uniform. And now you have a single stroke again, just like that. So that's how you can go about using the width tool in Adobe Illustrator. Join the Logos by Nick mailing list and get over 200 free design templates, including logos, avatars, textures, infographics, and more. As a member, you'll receive news, updates, and tips about your favorite design apps. Just use the link below to subscribe for free and download your templates. As always, thanks for watching.